Are you looking to make your new IceCap gyre interface module work with your Apex by Neptune Systems? Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos and I will be your host for today. In this video, I am going to show you how to program your Neptune Systems Apex controller to take advantage of the IceCap module and make your MaxSpec gyre do things you never thought possible. By the end of this video, we will have set up four different speed and pulsing profiles with a program schedule that will allow us to slowly ramp the speed of the pump up during the early morning hours, then create a repetitive surge by making the pump pulse during the day. Finally, as the evening approaches, slowly ramp the pump down and give your aquarium a break by letting the MaxSpec gyre create a gentle and steady flow during the night. Now this video will only cover configuration and programming of your IceCap module with an Apex controller from Neptune Systems. It assumes that you already have a fully configured and working Apex controller as well as a free variable speed port. You should be familiar with the creation of virtual and regular outlets. If you have not configured your Apex controller, a really good place to start is Neptune Systems website. They have an amazing website full of support articles, videos, as well as support forum with a thriving community of experienced staff and fellow Apex users. You can visit them at www.neptunesystems.com. You will also need to have your IceCap module connected to your Apex controller. If you have not and need help doing so, please watch our earlier video, IceCap Gyre Interface Module Setup and Installation. This video is for beginners, but some background experience and key products will help you get up and running quicker. So, let's get ready for IceCap Gyre Interface Module Apex Controller Setup. This is the Neptune Systems web interface for the Apex. Now this video assumes that you already know how to access this. If you don't, we recommend heading over to www.neptunesystems.com. Their website is full of information including a community forum that is constantly monitored by staff members as well as other Apex users. Here, in this web interface, you'll be able to monitor your stats as well as program your outlets. The very first step is to figure out which variable speed output is controlling our gyre. Now, we've connected our Ethernet cable that came with our module to one of the ports on our Apex controller. You either connected it to the variable speed 1 and 2 or variable speed 3 and 4. In my case, I connected the cable to the variable speed 3 and 4. So I'm going to scroll down and find variable speed 3 and 4. Now to find out which of the variable speed controllers or outlets is actually controlling the pump, all you need to do is turn each controller one at a time until you find the control that actually turns your pump on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab variable speed 3 and I'm going to turn it on and then I'm going to increase the speed. At the same time, I'm looking at my pump and seeing if it actually turns on. It didn't, so I'm going to turn this off, and now I'm going to go to variable speed 4. Now, I know that it is variable speed 4, but I like to confirm it. So to confirm, I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm going to increase the speed. Give it a few seconds, so it turns on, and now I can actually see the pump moving. So for my purposes, I know that my pump is being controlled by variable speed 4. Let me go ahead and turn it back off. Now, our next step is to create profiles. Profiles are flow patterns. We specify different flow patterns by profiles, and then those profiles or flow patterns are called to activate during a set schedule. So if I create a profile for pulsing, and then I schedule the profile for pulsing to run between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m., then the Apex will call the profile called pulsing and execute it between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m., therefore making the pump pulse. So in order to accomplish our schedule of different flow patterns, we need to create different profiles. In order to do so, we're going to go to configuration and then profile setup. 
and we're going to create a new profile. Again, I'm using the Apex that is already set up for my office, so we I already have some profiles created, but we're just going to create one from scratch. So I'm going to find the next available free profile and then click on it. At the beginning of the video, we established that we wanted to create four different flow patterns to happen throughout the day. In the morning, ramp up the pump. During the day, pulsing. During the evening hours, ramp down. And at nighttime, constant speed. So the first thing we need to do is create a profile that allows us to ramp the pump up. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this open profile ramp up. Control type lets us set up how we want to have this profile act. We, Since we are going to ramp the pump, then let's go ahead and click on this and select ramp. This will allow us to slowly increase the speed of a pump during a set amount of time. So I'm going to create a ramp up that lasts 60 minutes. So let's click 60 here. Now my start intensity, because I'm ramping up, I would like the start intensity to be low. In this case, I want it to be 30%. And then the end intensity, I want it to be high. So I'm going to set it to 80%. And what this is going to do is it's going to ramp up the pump from 30% speed to 80% speed during a span of an hour. So let's go ahead and save this. And as you can see, it's saved because now the profile is called Ramp Up. The next profile we need to create is a pulsing profile. Our schedule calls for our pump to pulse during the day. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Profile and find the next available empty profile. Profile name, since we're going to do pulsing, let's go ahead and call it Pulse. Control type, we're going to leave it as Pump. To pulse is to oscillate. So oscillating means that you're going to run the pump at a certain speed for a certain amount of time and then at a different speed for a certain amount of time, which is the definition of, of pulsing. What we're going to do is we're going to set the initial off time to zero. That's how many seconds the profile waits before it starts. We want it to start immediately. Then the on time would be your first set of pulsing speed. In this case, I'm going to set it to 20 seconds. And then the off time is going to be the second part of the pulsing. How long do you want the pump to run at a lower speed? I'm going to set it up to 10 seconds. So I'm going to have the pump pulse at one speed for 20 seconds and then have it at a different speed for 10 seconds. So the on time corresponds to the maximum intensity and the off time corresponds to the minimum intensity. So I want the pump to run for 20 seconds at 80% and then I want the pump to run after that for 10 seconds at 30%. So what's going to happen now is the pump is going to run for 20 seconds at 80% and then it's going to slow down to 30% for 10 seconds and then go back to 80% for 20 seconds. And it's going to run it for as long as the schedule calls. So let's go ahead and save this profile. Let's double check. The profile has now updated to Pulse and this profile has been set. Now the third profile we need to create is a ramp down. Our schedule calls for ramping down just as the evening starts. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another profile. Let's click on profile and find the next available empty profile. Now our profile name is going to be called ramp down. Again, you want to name it something that is easy to spot and easy to remember. Control type is going to be ramp because you want to ramp the pump. And what we're going to do is we're going to ramp it down for 60 minutes. Now, because I'm ramping down, my start intensity is going to be high and my end intensity is going to be low. So I'm going to start at 80% and then my end intensity is going to be 30%. So what's going to happen is that this pump is going to ramp down from 80% speed to 30% speed during the time lapse of 60 minutes. So let's go ahead and update and save this profile. And again, the profile now has updated to ramp down, so it is saved. The final profile we need to create is night mode. Our schedule calls for gentle and constant flow during the evening hours. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new profile by clicking on profile and finding the next available empty profile. Profile name, let's call it night. Easy to remember. Control type, we're going to leave it as pump. And this is where it gets a little tricky. What we're going to do is we're going to oscillate the pump. We're going to make the pump pulse, but instead of pulsing at two different speeds, we're going to make it pulse at the same exact speed. By doing that, we're actually ensuring the pump to do one constant flow. So the initial off time is going to be zero seconds because we want it to start right away. The on time is going to be 60 seconds, and the off time is going to be 60 seconds. Again, on time is for the maximum speed and off time is for the minimum intensity. And now the intensity is going to be the same thing. So our minimum intensity is going to be 30% and our maximum intensity is going to be 30%. So this pump is going to pulse for 60 seconds at 30% and then 60 seconds at 30%, therefore creating a constant flow. Let's go ahead and click the update to save the profile and then scroll up and double check. The profile has been updated tonight, therefore it has been saved. Now that we've created all four profiles, we are ready to start scheduling. But before that, I must give you one warning. There is one limitation with the pump, and it has to do with the speed. The pump will not run on anything below 20%. So when you schedule your pulsing, your ramp up, and your ramp down, make sure that your lowest speed does not go below 20%. Now, for those of you that are already saying, well, my basic controller can do less than 20%, if you actually put your hand on a gyre running on a basic controller at the lowest speed and your gyre running on the ice cap module at 20% is the same thing. So just remember, heads up, don't run the pump any lower than 20%. Now we're ready to set up our outlet and create our schedule. And to do so, we're going to hover over configuration and head over to outlet setup. Now at the beginning of the video, we remember that we actually established that our controller was being controlled by the variable speed outlet number four. Now I do have some other variable speed outlets configured here because it is my office tank, but that should not make any difference. So let's go ahead and select variable speed four, which is where that gyre is connected. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it something different. Variable speed four, I four, it's not something I like to remember. So I'm gonna rename it to XF130 underscore gyre. The control type is going to be advanced. There are some predetermined controlling wizards on the apex, but for our purposes, I want to create my own custom control type. So we're going to leave it as advanced. The icon is the icon that shows on the screen on your apex display module. So I personally like fan for my pumps, but it is a personal preference. So you can choose whatever you wish. Log, I'm going to leave it to enable. And then here in this window, advanced setup is where we actually going to start our programming. Advanced setup window is where all programming gets done. Our schedule calls for the ramp up profile to be executed in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type if time 08 colon 00 to 09 colon 00 then ramp underscore up. And what this line means is that if the time is between 8 a.m. in the morning and 9 a.m., then run the profile ramp up. You must be careful. The ramp up profile name should be typed the same exact way it was typed when you created the profile. It is case sensitive. Otherwise, the apex will give you an error. So now that we're sure that our times are correct and the profile has been typed correctly, let's go ahead and scroll down and hit the update outlet. It will refresh, no errors are shown, and your line has prevailed. So now the controller knows that if the time is between 8 a.m. in the morning and 9 a.m., then to run the profile ramp up. The second part of the schedule is to have the pump pulse for most of the day. Now we've already created the pulsing profile, so all we need to do is have the outlet call the profile. To do so, we're going to hit enter to start a new line, and we're going to type if time 0900. And the reason why I have 09 here in the second line and 09 on the first line is because I want the new pulsing profile to start immediately after the ramp up profile ends. 
So continue here to 18.00. The apex runs in military time. So I want the pump to pulse from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. 6 p.m. in military time is 1,800 hours. Then pulse. So what this line says is that if the time is between 9 a.m. in the morning and 6 o'clock p.m. or 1,800 hours, then run the profile pulse. So let's go ahead and scroll down and hit update outlet. And now you see the two lines are there, so they have been saved. And your pump is now set to run pulsing from 9 a.m. until 6 o'clock p.m. The third part of the schedule gets done the same way that the last two lines were created. Our schedule calls for the pump to ramp down during the evening. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit enter to create a new line. And we're going to do if time 18 colon zero zero. Again, we want this new profile to start immediately after the previous profile ended. To 19 zero zero, then ramp underscore down. And what this line means is that if the time is between 1800 hours, 6 o'clock p.m., and 1900 hours, 7 o'clock p.m., then run the profile ramp down. Let's go ahead and scroll and hit update outlet. Now some of you may have noticed that my ramp up and ramp down length are only an hour. And I've done this on purpose. Remember when we created the profiles for ramp up and ramp down, they were only done for an hour. Let's check in here, ramp up and you can see an hour and ramp down you can see it's an hour long. So what you want to make sure is that the outlet schedule matches your profile. So the profile for the ramp up is only an hour from 8 a.m. until 9 a.m. and the ramp down is only an hour from 1800 hours to 1900 hours. So now that, let's go ahead and create the last line which is our night mode. So hit enter and let's type if time 1900. Again, you want this profile to start immediately after the last profile ends to 0800 then night. And what this line means is that if the time is between 7 p.m., 1900 hours, all around to 8 in the morning, then night. And why did I choose 8 in the morning? Because my next profile starts at 8 in the morning. I want the ramp up profile to start immediately after the night profile is done. Once we have that schedule done, let's go ahead and hit update outlet to save. The four lines have been saved and now we have our four different pulsing times during the day. We're almost there. We only have a couple of things left to do. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that the pump shuts off during feed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type if feed A and again this video assumes that you already have created and set up the feed modes on the Apex. If you haven't please head over to www.neptunesystems.com and check out the support forum where you find that information. So if feed A000 then off. And what this line means is that if I press the button feed A then the pump will immediately shut off for the time that the feed A is active. So let's go ahead and scroll down and hit update to save, page refresh, and then we can confirm that all four lines are there, which is pretty much our programming. The last thing we need to do is to turn this outlet from a manual outlet into an automatic outlet. And automatic means that it's going to follow the schedule that we just created. And to do this, we're going to hover and click on dashboard and then we're going to scroll down and find our outlet. Now remember at the beginning of our scheduling we actually changed the name of the outlet from VAR speed 3 i3 to XF30 gyro and it just makes it easier to use. And all we need to do is hit the auto and give it a few seconds. And as you can see immediately the pump has turned on and actually shows you the profile that it's running. Now it is about 4 o'clock p.m. my time so 
the profile that will run is pulse as soon as the six o'clock hour hits then my profile is going to switch into a ramp down profile so that is how you program your gyre module interface so that your apex can control the gyre and you can actually create the four different flow patterns within the same day Hey everybody and thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and you got a good understanding on how the interface module works. Please use the information you learn as a base or a starting point and feel free to experiment more. Go ahead and create more profiles and have the pump change flow patterns multiple times during the day. Your pump is now available to do things that it could not do before so have fun with it. The sky is the limit. For those of you that want to push the pump to the limit with more advanced flow in both forward and reverse direction, please watch our upcoming video, IceCap Gyre Interface Module, Alternating Gyre Mode. We will unlock the true potential of this amazing pump by having it change directions as well as different pulsing speeds. So you will need a special cable which was not included with the box, but if you haven't done so already, you can purchase it at CoralView.com. So, Purchase the cable today and have it ready for our next video where we will cover IceCap interface module alternating gyre mode. If you would like more information about the IceCap interface module, check out our link below. If you have any technical questions that you wish to ask, please head over to CoralView.com forward slash support and submit a support ticket. If you have any comments or tips to share with your fellow reefers, feel free to leave them in the area below. If this is your first time watching, hit the subscribe button as every week we release a new video related to reefing. Thank you again for watching CVTV and see you next time.